All right, carnivore crack. Let's get someone to show you how to guys make this stuff. This stuff is outstanding. All right, guys, I'm gonna be making a favorite uh, snack, and it's a totally carnivore friendly snack that I often use. It kind of almost like it's it's I call it kind of carnivore crack. It's it's kind of addictive. It's almost like uh, eating uh, kind of potato chips in a way. And so there are two ingredients in this. Uh, first one is a big old hunk of meat, and in this case, I'm using a chuck roast. I think something with a decent amount of fat in is going to give you a better result, quite honestly. And then just some salt. In this case, I'm using some uh, some red and real salt. You guys are probably familiar with that, but that's the, those are, those are our two ingredients. Okay, so what we're going to do? We've got a, a meat slicer. This is a Besswood brand. I'm not sure the model number, but it's a, you know kind of just like a deli counter meat slicer. So we're going to do is going to take one of these uh, big old hunks of meat, load it up in there, turn this bad boy on. And it's important, one thing I should, I should point out, is that meat has been kind of partially frozen, so it's going, to, it's going to be a little more firmer and easier to slice. You don't want it rock solid frozen, because then it's going to be hard to push through the slicer, but you don't want it you know, super kind of gelatinous, and it's going to be really hard to control. So kind of a nice firmness, kind of maybe two hours in the freezer or something like that, that gets you about where it needs to be. So I've got this thing, it's got a setting, uh, you know, zero to 12, and it goes by half increments. I've got it about one and a half, which is, I think about a two millimeter slice is, is what I'm going to get out of this. So I think that's a pretty good thickness for uh, what I'm trying to do here. So we're going to turn this thing on and we're just going to start slicing away on this thing. You see how, how fast it goes. It just, it's just slicing away. And you can see the little pieces it's, it's producing. So these are, you know, nice thin little strips, uh, thin little strips of meat here that we're, we're putting out here. So I'll just continue to continue to put the other pieces in there. Slice this thing all the way down. Okay, so in about uh, two minutes, we've got a bunch of sliced meat. I'll, I'll take, I'll give you a look at what that looks like. Okay, here's our big old pile of sliced beef. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay these out on a drying rack here. And so I'm just gonna put these out, spread them out kind of nice and uh, wide so they cover the whole uh, surface of the rack. Now it's nice if you have clean hands when you do this. Uh, if not, well, maybe you're beefing up your immune system perhaps. <laughs> So anyway, we're getting these nice and, and laid out in a nice fashion. Now, I had a couple end cuts that, you know, the slicer doesn't get to. And I leave them in there. They're just kind of like thick cut pieces, and they actually turn out pretty well. So sometimes I'm tempted just to cut the whole thing thick. But it's, it's nice to have these little, I guess these are more bite-sized pieces. These are almost kind of, you know, more traditional chip size. So you'll cover this whole rack up uh, with this, uh, you know, with this thinly sliced meat. And then I'll just, I don't, I don't have a little salt shaker with me any good, so I'm just going to pour it in my hand. And then I'm just going to kind of, kind of evenly distribute the salt. And I've got a paper towel underneath the rack so this doesn't get all over the counter and just kind of do this up here. And then I'll, I'll you know, I'll repeat this uh, several more times until I fill up all the racks and then we'll go on to the dryer. All right, so we end up with six uh, racks of that, uh, Thinly sliced meat that's been salted. We're going to put it into the Kasori food dehydrator. That's the brand I have. There are many out there. They're all pretty similar, I suppose. And I'm going to close it up here. And I've got this preset for 150 degrees. I'm going to run it for about 10 hours. And so we'll get going with that. And 10 hours later, we'll have some magic. All right, 10 hours later, we made a bag about yay big. That'll last for you know, a couple days around this house. Uh, and, and this is what they look like. So they're, you know, they're nice. They're, uh, they've got a nice sort of, you know, crispiness to them. Nice and crunchy. The fat gives it a really nice flavor. Just enough salt. 
outstanding. These are kind of addictive, like crack cocaine might be for some people. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Super simple to do. Pick yourself up a food dehydrator. You can do it in the oven if you need to. You don't need. To, you don't have to have a food dehydrator. Just put your oven on, like you know, low as it'll go. Same thing. You just have to have a rack. So you don't want to put it in a pan. You want to make sure the air circulates around it. But um, anyway, great easy recipe. Let me know what you guys think if you've tried it before, or let me know how it goes if you try it. All right, thanks everybody. See you later.